So today I'm back in the basement and I will be starting on the fire blocking for my uh, basement finishing project. Um, I guess depending upon where in the country you live, um, the codes are different. You may or may not require fire blocking, but the county that I live in requires fire blocking. I have gone around the basement and actually laid out all of where my walls will be on the floor. I don't know how well you can see everything, but I actually chalk lined and then went back over it with pencil so I could see a little bit better. Um, quick tip, by the way, use if you're going to use a chalk line, try and use a red chalk chalk line. The blue chalk that I used, almost invisible down here in low light situation. So I'll get real close. You can actually see the blue a little bit. But as you get further away from the light, the blue almost disappears. So I spent an extra probably 45 minutes or an hour just retracing over all the chalk lines that I already drew. My dad came over and helped me put the chalk lines down. But anyway, you can see where I'm going to be putting the walls. Got my little X's put here for which wall, which side of the wall is going to be on that, or which side of the line the wall is going to be on. This is the rough end for our wet bar. So anyway, all the way around the, the uh, basement perimeter, this is going to be a wall here that goes around the back side of our stairs. Um, the builder actually put this wall in. I'm going to have to tear it out because if you see the way that they put this in, this post sticks out further than this. So there's no way I can drywall around that without it being in the way. So I'm actually going to tear that out and put two by sixes in so it comes out in front of that post. Um, so the layout is all done. The next step for me, and I will try and film a little bit of it, earlier, actually last week, because today's Tuesday, but last week I got all of the blocking installed for the top of the frame. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a laser level to line it up right on this line and then shoot the laser straight up and run it across these so that way I will have um, the exact distance that I need to come away from that sill plate uh, just sitting on top of the, the foundation and then I'll be able to cut this OSB so last time I took a video I didn't have any lumber down here now I got all the lumber my brother-in-law and I moved all this uh, lumber down here because Lowe's, which is where I purchased all the wood from, the earliest that they would have actually been able to deliver was like three weeks out. I didn't really want to delay my project for three weeks, so my brother-in-law and I put in the legwork in order to bring all this down. That was a little bit uh, of extra work, but it allows me to get my project moving um, sooner than three weeks out. So anyway, I will get the laser level set on this tripod. That way it shoots the laser all the way down. That way I'll be able to trace on all the blocking where I need to actually cut out the OSB for the fire blocking. Depending on where you live, you can use lots of different types of uh, wood to do fire blocking. You can do two by fours, you can use one by wood as long as it overlaps, you can use plywood. I chose to use OSB um, and the in my county you need to have 23 30 seconds osb so that is what you are looking at so what i'll be doing now is getting the laser set up marking all of them off and then i will go all the way around with my handheld circular saw and i will cut off strips after i measure to make sure that i got it all set and then i'll be sticking it up along all these walls so stay tuned so i've got my laser set up and as you can see, it shoots the line, this laser, all the way down on the line. All the way down to the end of the wall down there. And if you can also see, I'll zoom in a little bit. If you can also see up here, it shoots the line on all the blocking that I put in. So now what I need to do is measure, measure from the sill out to where that line is and then I can cut OSB to fit. Now in order to, because this basement um, has a little bit of natural lighting, because if you look out in my backyard, I've got a window here 
it lets in quite a bit of light, which makes it a little bit difficult to see the laser. But as you get further, because this wall, if you look at it right here, I don't know if you can see how far down it goes, but that's probably about, I don't know, 45 feet maybe. So in order to check to make sure that your laser is actually good all the way down, take a piece of two by, whatever it is, just a piece of scrap wood, and drop it on your line somewhere down. And you can see their block of wood shows that that laser is now directly on that line. Take it a little bit further down, set up your block of wood again, make sure it's still on the line. Take it down a little bit further, set it up, still on your line. So now you're done your job, you can go back, get up on your ladder, do all your measurements, and then mark your, with your pencil, mark your mark all of your spots up along uh, these the blocking here. And you're good to go to start measuring. All right, so I got the camera on the tripod. You can take a look at what I'm about to do here. I'm gonna jump up on the ladder here and mark this off, and you can see I'm just gonna use my speed square in order to make that that mark all the way down. And then I'll do it on all of the, the pieces all the way up and down. So here you should be able to see the red laser line. I'm gonna take my speed square, and I'm gonna set it up against my two by four and mark all the way down. That's it. Okay, I wanted to show one more thing for the laser leveling um, downstairs for this project because I got my laser set up here on the tripod, shooting it down this wall. So this wall is actually gonna be the most important down in the basement because it runs the entire width of the house. And it's also going to be hiding the beam behind a soffit. So I wanted to spend extra time making sure I got this wall really straight what I've got here is uh, a line that I had drawn for the wall. This is gonna be my home gym on the inside. So I had this wall already marking, or I had this line on the ground marking this wall already. And it actually is going to go all the way down and close in the storage space as well. So I had that line previously marked out. The soffit space is ahead above it I wanted to be able to fit a 2x4 because this is going to be uh, heavy duty. So I'm actually going to make this soffit using 2x4, two instead, two excuse me, instead of using 2x2. Two two. And so what I did was I did a couple of measurements on this end and I also did a couple of measurements on this end, making sure that this would actually fit in here and give me enough space. As you can see, it fits fine on that laser there. And what I did was I went by every single beam in order to clear all the way down. Because this eye beam is actually not straight. And further down here, I've got more space. In order to make this soffit really straight all the way down, I had to make it a little bit wider in order to clear that pipe right there. So, making a really straight soffit is going to be really important. So I, I measured 10, it's actually 10 and uh, 3 quarters of an inch away from the original drawing of where the wall is going to be. I set my block down. I made, made sure it was very square utilizing my uh, framing square. I set it down right here and drew a, a straight square line and then set my framing square at 10 and 3 quarters and drew another straight line here. I did the same thing halfway and I did the other thing I did the same thing um, at the very beginning as well. Then put the laser on the tripod, lined up all the marks all the way down. And now you can see I've got my soffit line marked out. So now all I need to do is jump on the ladder at all of these uh, beams with my speed square and then just mark them all the way down. And now when I'm done, in theory, because I'm a, I'm a novice at this, in theory, it should be a perfectly straight wall as long as all the wood that I bought is straight. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, whew, that was a lot of work.